Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have swatches for you from the Holiday 2023 collection from the brand Whimsical Ideas by Pam. These are available right now, so in the description box I will link the Facebook page of Whimsical Ideas by Pam and their Instagram page. I will link my Instagram page where you can see more swatches of everything from today's video, and then I will leave Pam's email address down there as well. Her ordering system is a little bit different. She doesn't have a traditional site that you go to and click through and pick what you want. The way her ordering system works is on her Facebook page. She's got a list of polishes that are available. Um, you send her an email with the polishes that you're interested in and then she invoices you via email. So that's why there's no website down there and replaced by an email address. So we do have seven polishes in today's video and let's go ahead and get started. So first we have Christmas 2023, and this is a kind of softer gold micro glitter in a clear base. And then there are purple glitters throughout this as well. Um, I kept getting these little fuzzies in my brushes. I don't know why, but you will see them throughout the entire video. I do apologize if that's something that bothers you, but this is a good formula. It's a little bit on the thicker side. It's very full of glitter, so you do kind of want to try as hard as possible to work in thinner coats uh, so it doesn't get super thick on the nail but I did stop at two coats because it was starting to feel just a little bit thick on the nail I didn't see any visible nail line from a distance but if I was looking up close I could make some out you'll definitely want some top coat for this it is glitter so it is going to dry with some texture and since it's glitter it's also going to be difficult to remove but this is a super pretty like Mardi Gras polish I don't know if I see Christmas but I definitely see Mardi Gras but there are two coats of Christmas 2023. Up next we have Ever and this is a highlight of the collection for me. It's not my top pick but it's definitely stunning. This is a kind of grassy Kelly green Crelly. It's it's not a cream but it's not a jelly base. I would call it a Crelly base um, and then it's got these I think gold micro flakes to it. The formula on this was perfection, very smooth, easy application, not too thick or too thin, no running, pulling, or staining, and a nice, even application as well. I got full coverage for this one in two coats. I didn't personally experience any kind of staining with this. I didn't leave it on long enough to necessarily have staining, um, but I don't swatch with a base coat. I do recommend using a base coat for this because this is the exact color that does have a tendency to stain your nails yellow, so do bear that in mind. This dries relatively glossy all on its own and with no texture, but a top coat will help keep your manicure lasting as long as possible and prevent premature chipping. And since there's no glitter in here, removal on this will be relatively easy. So there are two coats of Ever. Next we have flannel jammies and this is a clear base glitter that is made primarily up of red glitter but there's also white, yellow, and green and black glitter sprinkled throughout here as well. On two nails I'm going to show you what three coats looks like built up on its own and then on my remaining two nails I'm going to layer it over this kind of soft powder pink cream. The formula on this was very good. She really has her all glitter formulas down for this. Again, not too thick or too thin and a good glitter to base ratio. If you want 100% coverage on this, you could definitely sponge it on to get that, but I do really like this one as a topper. For some of these larger glitters, I did want to kind of manipulate these glitters around to spread them out across the nail as evenly as possible and do a little touch up with um, like colors just to get a nice even distribution. This is again glitter, so it is gonna dry pretty textured, especially if you build it up on its own, it'll have some pretty intense texture and it also wants to stick to your nails, so removal's a little bit difficult, but there are one and three coats of flannel jammies. Up next we have Hatikva, which I am, I am not 100% sure I'm saying right, I did Google, but uh, sometimes that steers me wrong, but this is the top pick of the collection for me. I think this is a so beautiful on its own and be stunning over this dark blurple color that I'm layering it over. But this is a clear glitter base and it's got a variety of 
light and dark blue glitters. It's got a sprinkling of white glitters and it's got these white snowflake glitters and it is just so freaking beautiful. I don't get snow where I'm at so this is the closest uh, thing to snow that I'm going to see this year and I, I love it. Um, this is glitter so it is going to dry some texture. You'll want a thicker top coat to smooth it out. Removal will also be difficult and these snowflake glitters, I know not everybody's a huge fan of the shape glitters. These came out of the bottle really, really easily, but they're also relatively easy to avoid if you don't love them. Um, but I did want to kind of do some glitter placement to get them to go where I want them to go, but they're one of three coats. Up next we have oatmeal and this one is a kind of tan tinted base and then I want to say these are white glitters but they're more like iridescent -y white or like pearly white glitters. They're not the blaringly white glitter that you're used to seeing. So it does make this overall manicure a whole lot softer. I do love the base color of this. I think it's an absolutely gorgeous neutral and I think it would make a gorgeous sheer as well. But with this glitter in here, it is so cute. I was happy in two coats with the coverage, but I did opt to go in for three just to make sure I covered every bit of my nail. The formula on this was just a little bit thicker again. It wasn't super difficult to work with or anything, but I do think after a couple uses, I'll probably need to throw some thinner in here just to get the consistency back to how it is now. There's a ton of glitter in here. You don't have to manipulate it to spread it out evenly or anything across the nail, but there is a lot of it. Um, so it is going to dry with some pretty intense texture. A thicker top coat will help smooth that out, but you might end up needing a couple coats of it or um, a glitter smoother underneath your top coat to make sure it is nice and even and removal will be difficult. But there are three coats of oatmeal. Up next we have Raise Your Glass and this is a like mulberry kind of pearly color. Um, this is very opaque here on this first coat, not totally opaque. So I am gonna go in for two coats, but this is again, leaning in the pearl direction. So a lot of these brush strokes that you see here are going to hang out once your manicure is fully dry. So I do suggest taking your time and kind of getting your brush strokes as straight as possible to avoid any like wonky looking strokes. I think brush strokes in your nail polish can be absolutely stunning, but sometimes they can look a little bit funny if they're super uneven. So I do recommend taking your time. Fortunately, this doesn't dry obnoxiously quick. So you can kind of take your time with this um, before it dries. Again, I got full coverage here in two coats. You'll want some top coat for longevity, but nothing in here is gonna dry textured and nothing will be difficult to remove. Another thing that um, you probably know about pearls, but I'm gonna say anyway, is that it is going to show every ounce of imperfection on your natural nail underneath. So if you have bad ridges like mine or dents in your nails like mine, uh, you might wanna use a base coat just to make sure it goes on as evenly as possible. But there are two coats of Raise Your Glass. And lastly for today, we have Space Cadet. And this one is a clear glitter base and it's got these like dark, dark, dark gray uh, metallic glitter. They might be black, but they were reading gray and or silver, not gray, um, in my mind. And then it also has star and moon glitters in here that are silver. Um, I did three coats of it on my Naked Natural Nail, and then I made very poor choices and decided to layer this one coat on top of a almost identical to my Naked Natural Nail color. Um, so that's what we're seeing here. We're seeing one coat over pretty much my Naked Natural Nail and then three coats over my Naked Natural Nail. This is glitter, so it is going to dry textured. You'll want that top coat to smooth it out and add some shine. Removal will be difficult. Also, these star and moon glitters do come out in abundance. So where um, the snowflake glitters and the other polish were kind of easy to avoid if you didn't want them, it's pretty difficult to avoid these ones if you don't want those. But there are one and three coats of Space Cadet.
So look at the full collection. I love it when uh, Whimsical does these clear base glitters. I think they are so fun. They are definitely the highlight of her brand for me personally, but I also do like how the uh, pearl looked on me, on my nails. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I just wish that I had had a base coat on underneath it, so I could have really shown it off to its full potential. Ever is gorgeous. I always lean towards the greens, but there are some really high highs in this collection. And guys, that is it. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of these polishes. Let me know if you plan on picking any of them up and let me know what your favorite was. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me and I will talk to you again next time.